there's times in life where you are actually deceiving yourself. You think you're getting everything right, but you're really not. Your soul is thirsty. Your soul is dry. Your soul is just... You're just you're dying of thirst in your soul, and you just keep going and going and going. Whether it's alcohol, drugs, drink, um, you know, tobacco, women, whatever, men. Um, there's times where your soul is thirsty. You may not even realize that it's your soul. I'm coming about this as if you don't even know really what the Bible says. This is Blue Collar Bible Man here, and we are protecting today's man with God's shield of faith. My name is Nathan, and we're talking right now about when your soul is thirsty and you don't even quite realize it. You know, I've been reading about the Samaritan woman in John chapter 4 in the New Testament, and Jesus is at a well, and basically he comes to her, which... It wasn't customary for him to do that. But it just goes to show that, you know, when the Lord, when Jesus Christ comes to speak to you, it wasn't customary for him to do that, with, to come and talk to her in that time, but that was a man-made tradition. You see, him being Jesus, he's Lord of all, and... That tradition didn't apply to him, number one, because it was not in the old law. So he was actually doing everything right there. Uh, but he goes to her, and she had basically been with five, what is this? Five, yeah, had five husbands, and the man that she was with wasn't married to. Kept on going, kept on going through life, thirsty, thirsty, thirsty. Well, he asked her to get him some water, and uh, she says, "You know, why are you why are you asking me for water?" Because he was he was a Jew. He was you know basically a pure Israelite. Samaritans were half Gentile, half Jew, and so it, that was another reason. Not only that that she was a woman, but because she was looked at as eh, the Samaritans. They're worthless. Maybe you know how she feels. Maybe people look at you like that way. Uh, and so this woman is here at this well, and, you know, he says, you know, this water, you know, she's basically says, you know, this is Jacob's well and all that, which he knew that. But he says to her, I, I do have to read this. Everyone who drinks of this water will thirst again talking about the material things of life. If all you do is chase material things, try to quench that inner thirst in your inner soul, your heart, if, if you keep on trying to quench that thirst with things of this world and addictions, addictions that you know are killing your soul, they are, it, it, it just brings you no hope. You're full of hopelessness. You know what I'm talking about. Uh, that's what he's telling her. If you keep drinking of this water, you'll thirst again. He's just making an example of it because it's a material thing. And what he tells her, he says, but whoever drinks of the water I will give him shall never thirst. But the water that I will give him will become in him a well of water springing up to eternal life. And so, of course, she's like, you know, hey, I, <laughs> give me this water. Give me this water. That's, you know, hey, that's fine. Um, and so, basically, what, you know, he tells her about her hopeless sta estate. Uh, it tells her about how she's been married all these multiple times and all of that. She tells him right away, she's like, uh, you're a prophet. I, I can tell. You're a prophet. He was actually the, the prophet, the son of man. Um, he was the Messiah. And she tells him, she says, I know that the Messiah is coming, he who is called Christ, and when that one comes, he will declare all things to us. And he says to her, I who speak to you am he. And at that point, 
she ends up going into the city because she's just so overcome, goes and gets the rest of the Samaritans and brings them back to see and to hear him teach. Uh, you know, y'all, she's a perfect example of who we are today. So many of us today are chasing uh, the hopelessness of the world. We thirst. We, we constantly thirst. And we don't realize it, but especially if we are addicted, these addictions, you, you already know what they're like. I'm not telling you something you don't already know. If you're, most likely, if you're not a born-again, gospel-believing, Bible-believing Christian that's been set free from this world, most likely you're addicted. Most likely you're in chains to something. Look hard enough and you will find that you are bound to something. Your hands are tied to it. Um, not in prayer. They are bound by sins, by addictions. She had been bound in sin. She knew about the history of Israel. Uh, she worshipped in that area. The point of it was, was that her worship had not been right. What she had been doing through life hadn't been quenching the thirst of her soul. There's a whole big backstory to Samaria that we'll have to talk about in a later video. The point of this video is that when you are not doing everything right, by the way, if you've gotten value from all of this, please like, share, subscribe if you want. Uh, if not, that's fine, but that is a good way that you can you know, give us a little bit of support. It helps us out so we can keep making more videos like this to help you quench your thirst. Um, but anyway, she was who a lot of us are today. And I'm using her as an example, men, to let you know that you must... Jesus, in the, the, even in the Old Testament, and Jesus quotes it in the New Testament, man shall not live by bread alone, but by every word that comes from the mouth of God. You've got to let God's word quench the thirst of your soul. Jesus Christ is the only one who gives living water. And if you don't know him, I really encourage, I'm not, I, I can't force you to come to him. But if you feel like God is calling you to himself, you need to come to him and let him quench your thirst because he's the only one who gives the water that will help your soul to never thirst again. Hope this has been a blessing. Uh, we got another video coming in this series. Um, so y'all take care. Act like men. Live by the word of God. Men, that's the only way to beat your addictions and to quench the thirst of your soul. Take care.